2008. Can I just clarify, are any of the banks benefiting from these taxpayer schemes now paying dividends? Um, I believe that <coughs> Barclays has paid a dividend and Barclays are certainly one of the banks yep. in the scheme. So if a bank has rebuilt its capital base and has sufficient money to be giving it away back to its shareholders, should it not be speeding up the point at which it pays back the taxpayer? Um, the, the two schemes that we're talking about here have slightly different uh, rules. The, under the special liquidity scheme operated by the Bank of England, the banks do have the option of um, early redemption. Mm. Uh, under the credit guarantee scheme operated by the government, they don't have that option, so the paper is, 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 is out there, and that's because it's a market-based instrument rather than the Bank of England scheme, which is off-market. So um, a bank which has CGS paper um, uh, does not have the option to pay, repay earlier, but what um, uh, I think all banks uh, are doing uh, is looking at how to uh, get their funding in earlier so that, so that they don't run into the kind of problems which the report um, uh, envisages as possible. So you're satisfied that there is nothing further those banks could do to extricate themselves from Treasury support, which they're not doing because they're paying dividends? Um, the, as I say, the credit guarantee scheme, they, they cannot repay it earlier. The question then will be, as and when their paper uh, matures, will they be able to fund themselves without further recourse to the Treasury? Um, clearly, that will depend in part on market circumstances, but I think um, uh, banks in general are very keen uh, to uh, get themselves off uh, state support and because. Are the option to roll over still, yeah. despite what Mr. Barclay is saying about them paying dividends, they'll still have the option to.